Hey everyone, welcome to Join Coder. In this video, I'm going to show you my first online POS project built with Laravel. All right, this project has three user roles, super admin, admin, and customer. Super admin manages the system and key features. Admin works as a cashier, and the customer can place orders online. In this video, we will focus on the super admin role, and I'll be sharing the source code in my Telegram channel. So if you need the source code, be sure to check the description for the link. Let's start with the login system. There are three ways to log in. Standard login using email and password. Google login and GitHub login. For the standard login users need to register first. When a new user registers and logs in, they will be redirected to the customer dashboard. But if you want to log in as an admin, a super admin has to create an admin account first. Otherwise, you'll just log in as a customer. Now let's log in as a super admin and check out the dashboard. This is what the super admin dashboard looks like. Product out of stock shows items that are running low. Click on it to see the details. Here you see item name and how many stock left. Category count shows the total number of categories in the system. Click on it to see the details and it will route to list page. Next, payment types display total number of payment options. For admin accounts, displays the total number of admins. You can click on it to see details. Here you see admin account list. And customer accounts works the same way as the admin accounts. Next, request success tracks the number of orders completed per day. Total sale calculates the total sales for the month. The last one is pending request. It shows orders that have been received but not yet confirmed. Sale overview chart shows daily sales trends. Pie chart highlight the top three best selling products. Okay, that's the dashboard. Now let's check out categories. In the categories list, you can see all categories along with their creation dates and edit or delete categories under actions. Adding a category is simple. Just fill the category name and save. You can easily update or delete items with just a click. Now moving on to products. In product list page can see this data and actions. And also can search for products by name. As usual, add new products with images and details. Under the actions, you can view details, edit, or delete them. For orders and sales, right now I don't have any orders in the system, but I'll place one later to show how it works. I want to show you the payments section. For the payments, I haven't integrated any third-party payment gateways. Instead, I've set up a manual payment system where customers can transfer payments by entering an account number and attaching a screenshot of the payment as proof. I'll show more details when I log in and place an order as a customer. As usual, you can see the list of payments and use the available actions to update or delete them. This payments menu is only available to the super admin to prevent any security risks. Let's continue to manage users section. This is for assigning system roles. Admin's account can be added manually by the super admin. If users register themselves, they will have customer access only.
If someone forgets their password, the super admin can reset it. Just enter the user's email, click reset password, and the system will generate a default password. User can then log in with the default password and change it later. In the profile section, you can view list of admins and customers and search for users by name. and can promote, demote, or delete users from this section. Okay. That's all from Manage Users menu, and this section is only accessible to super admins. Now, let's look at the reports section. First, we have the sales report. You can filter sales data by selecting a date range, and all the sales within that period will be displayed. If needed, you can also export the report to Excel with just one click. Other reports follow the same structure, just with different conditions. Product analysis helps identify products that are running low on stock, so you can restock them in time. Profit and Loss Report shows the profit calculations for each product, helping you track overall earnings. That's it for the sidebar menu. Now, let's take a quick look at the nav bar. At the top, you'll see the logged in user's role as super admin. If you've uploaded a profile picture, it will appear here. Clicking on it lets you view and update your profile details. There's also a quick Add Admin option, which works the same way as the one in the sidebar that I showed earlier. And finally, you can change your password from this menu. That's everything for the Super Admin menu. In the next videos, I'll be showing the admin and customer roles, so stay tuned. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next parts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.